When was the last time you seen someone in your showroom on their mobile phone? Can you turn it into an opportunity? That's this week on Think Tank Tuesday. Hi, I'm Paul Potratz, and welcome to this week's Think Tank Tuesday. So the question is, when was the last time that you seen someone in the showroom on their mobile phone? You're probably asking yourself, what exactly are they doing? But before I get into that, I've got a question for you. When was the last time you seen someone sitting across from you during lunch or dinner, and they're sitting there on their mobile phone, not paying attention to the person that they're having lunch or dinner with? When was the last time you seen someone at a store, or like a Best Buy or whatever, and they were standing there in front of an aisle and they had their nose stuck in the mobile phone? Well, here's the question to you. When is the last time you did it? What were you doing? What were you looking for? I mean, you know you've done it. Think about it. When was the last time that you were at an actual place of business, getting ready to do a purchase, but you pulled out that mobile device, what did you search for? Well, that's what's happening in your showroom. But here's a great opportunity. I mean, think about it, wonderful opportunity. Not necessarily for your showroom, but there could be. But what I'm really talking about is conquesting. I'm talking about getting other customers, other clients from other businesses, getting more than your unfair share, or in this case, your fair share. So isn't it time to get your fair share? How can you do it? I mean, that mobile device that we carry around in our pocket, that's a gold mine to you as a business owner. It's a beautiful thing to us as marketers. I'm talking about geofencing or geotargeting technology. And I mentioned those two terms because we're using it so loosely in the industry that people aren't really using geofencing and geotargeting in the right context. So let me just lay it down easy. I'm not gonna give you the definition, but I'm gonna tell you how it works. So let's assume for a moment that, and we know this is a fact, there's other shoppers in your competitor's showrooms, on your competitor's lot, in your competitor's place of business. There's other, there's those customers and they're, they got that cell phone, they got their nose stuck in there. With the geofencing technology, it gives you a great opportunity to present a message to them. Because again, what did you do when you were in that place of business and pulled out your cell phone and was searching? Were you looking for prices? Were you making sure that this business's price wasn't any more than this business's price? Were you reading last minute reviews, trying to find out, am I making the right decision? Were you trying to say, should I buy this model or should I step it up and buy a nicer, fancier, more expensive model? Or should I step it down and buy a cheaper model? Yeah, those are the things you're doing and that's what customers are doing all across the country. But the magical part is the vast majority of marketers, the vast majority of business owners are not using geofencing technology. So how it works. All right, competing showroom, competing dealer, competing business, whatever you want to do, whatever you're selling. So let's assume that you're a car dealership. You've got that competing dealership that's five miles, 10 miles, 15 kilometers up the road, whatever the case might be. You can draw a radius around that business with this technology. In other words, electronic radius is what you're doing. And on their phone, that phone is registering where they're based at. In other words, the GPS sensor in the phone is saying, hey, this is where this person's at. And with geofencing technology, you're tying that circle around that, that place of business. So when that individual is on their mobile device and they go to search, and let's say that they go to your place of business because you're doing a pay-per-click search engine marketing campaign, they go to your place of business, meaning your website, you know that they're coming from that competitor. So what you're doing is you're presenting specific content to them. So here's an example. Let's say that I am Paul's Fiat, okay? That's my dealership and I'm going after Steve's Fiat dealership that's 10 miles up the road. Well, their customer in the showroom goes to search to see if my prices are lower and then I go, Hey, wait a minute. Are you getting ready to purchase a brand new Fiat or a pre-owned Fiat? I can save you up to $2,000. Click here to call me now. So that's what happens right on their mobile device. They click, they call, and then you interact. Let's say you don't do the click here to call now. What you can do is you can actually have a link and that link can drive them to a specific landing page with really compelling content. 
That's just one example of geofencing technology. But again, very few business owners are doing it, very few marketers are doing it, but it's something we're doing. And I'm gonna give you some really good examples of other ways to use geofencing technology. But guess what? You've gotta watch this real quick video clip and it's gonna explain a little more about geofencing technology and I'll be right back. Dealer Lead Driver offers a new way to target website visitors with relevant messages based on their geographic location. Introducing Smart Fencing, only available from Dealer Lead Driver. Smart Fencing technology defines an individual's geographic location and displays a specific message or directs them to a specific page when they visit a Dealer Lead Driver website. It's like having your own personal concierge direct new business to your doorstep. With smart fencing technology, you can define a radius around your competitors, and when a customer at the competitor's showroom visits your website for last-minute research, the visitor is presented a custom message, driving them to contact you and allowing you to steal the sale. Is there a large, local employer you want to target? Maybe you want to offer their employees a VIP program. That's easy! Create a geofence for this employer in 60 seconds, and when one of their employees visits your website, they'll see a custom message. Smart fencing allows you to target military bases, colleges, dealerships, vehicle repair shops, tire shops, affluent communities, credit challenged areas, shopping centers, large employers, specific industries, and more. The possibilities are endless. You'll drive better quality leads for all your profit centers. Smart fencing on Dealer Lead Driver gives you the control to set up unlimited smart fences quickly and easily. Smart fencing is so easy to set up that anyone can do it in 60 seconds or less. No need to learn how to use short codes or programming of any type. Everything you need is just a few clicks away. If you don't have a Dealer Lead Driver website, you're losing leads. Stop paying for a website with yesterday's technology. Get tomorrow's innovations today. Learn more about Dealer Lead Driver at DealerLeadDriver.com. Dealer Lead Driver, smart behavioral websites. Okay, welcome back. So you got to see the video from Dealer Lead Driver, the smart behavioral responsive websites. That's a mouthful. But that's what their smart fencing is geofencing technology. Here's some other examples. I promised you some other examples, but I've got the ideas rolling, so I hope you're taking notes and you're writing it down. And by the way, if you like what I'm sharing with you, why don't you go ahead and share this video? Why don't you just go ahead and share this video, send it off to your marketing manager, send it off to your business owner, send it to your sales manager, send it to, you, send it to whoever you want to send it to, just send it. And please, comment on this video. I want to hear your comments. All right, so here's some other examples. Geofencing technology, which you can do, or smart fencing in the case of dealer lead driver. What about major employers? Think about it. When's the last time you looked at the analytics, the traffic coming to your website? How many of those major employers are driving traffic to your website? In other words, somebody's sitting at work that they're at the local hospital that employs 3,000, 5,000, 10,000 people, whatever the number might be. They got a little downtime and they go to their computer and they start shopping for a car. Does it happen? Most definitely happens. So now think about all the hospitals that you have in the area. With geofencing technology, what you would do is you would go and draw that circle, that radius in, that, in the tool that, that's on Dealer Lead Driver. So draw that radius around that hospital, the other hospitals, and draw all the radiuses around the hospitals. Give it a small radius, like a one mile radius. You can, with geofencing, you can bring it down. You can say, I just want to cover this one block or these two blocks or three blocks, whatever it might be. So put a decent radius around it. And then when that individual, when that shopper accesses your website, there's an ad that pops up more or less, or there's a message in the banner that pops up. And it says something to the effect, notice or uh, announcing. A new partnership with uh, so-and-so hospitals, and you name the hospitals, or it says, uh, find out more information about our VIP program if you work at one of these hospitals. And then it has all the hospitals listed. And again, you want to do several hospitals. You don't want to do one, because if you just do that one, that person's going to go, oh, 
that's creepy. How? They're going to think it was targeted them. So do several hospitals. Has the link. Again, they click the link. It takes them right to a landing page on your website. You talk about your VIP program, your savings program. Hey, we're going to give you uh, complimentary car washes. We're going to give you early bird service. We're going to give you a down payment certificate for your vehicle. So, I mean, any number of things. But we've designed all these pages on the dealer lead driver websites and with our geofencing technology. Again, so hospitals is one. What about college and colleges and universities? There's another one to do. So again, you can start to build all of these things out. Another step with the geofencing technology, which you can do to go one step farther of what we've done, is if someone's been on the website previous and they've been looking at Ford F-150s, for example, that they've been shopping for F-150s, Stick with me. I'm going to slow down on this one because I need you to pay attention to this one because this one gets a little tricky, but it's awesome. All right. So someone's visited your website. They looked at F-150s. They're shopping. They're comparing. They're saying, oh, I should have. I could have. I would have. I should. I should. I should. I don't know. They come back to your website and then magically right there on the homepage of the website, it says, huge sales event going on now on our Ford F-150s. Save an additional $500 now. But it's only that one individual that will see that. And you can decide that, hey, I only want to show this to them when they visit the website the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, whatever you want to do on that. So you're not giving up gross for everybody that visits your website by giving an additional $500. You're giving up a little bit of profit to get that individual in that's visited your website five times or seven times or whatever the chance might be. And you just want to work with that and see how it raises your conversions. And it will, because you can find that magic point that an uh, individual visits my website five Five times they looked at the F-150s before. Now I'm going to announce that F-150s are an additional $500 off. But this is only, you know, this is the last day. I hope that made sense to you. Geofencing, geotargeting technology, great technology, and I think it's important as you, as a business owner, to know the new technology that's coming down the pike or that's available, and that you should be using it in your own marketing instead of doing that spraying and praying and constantly buying more pay per click, more pay per click, more pay per click, and driving them to a website that's not converting the way it should. Well. Let's start getting tools on our website that's going to help the conversion. That's this week's idea, and I hope to see you next week.